Well, good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. How are you doing today? I don't have good news for President Museveni and his son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba. I'm going to jazz you what's happening. Well, in other news, Nobat Mao, the president of Democratic Party, is in trouble a few weeks after attacking the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Shentamu, aka Bobby Wine. Kindly subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, you can as well get to share the link to your friend so that they also get updated about what is happening in the country. Now, going to the details of the stories I have for you right now. Uh, recently, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, revealed that when they arrived in Omoro district to campaign for their candidate Simon to lead, police and military started arresting the leaders of NUP and the party mobilizers throughout the night. Uh, one of the people that were reported to be missing is Moshmo. However, according to the Secretary General, that is David Luis Rubongoya, he says Moshmo was finally transferred to La Logi Police Station and their team on ground is currently doing all the best to make sure that he's released unconditionally because he's been under detention beyond 48 hours. Now, NUP leadership says all these are signs showing that President Museveni's government is soon falling. I'll keep you posted on this story. Now, in other news... Uh, there is a prophet from Ghana who has prophesied that if President Museveni makes a mistake and allows his son, Jeno Mohonzi Kanerugaba, to replace him as next president of Uganda, there is going to be war on this African continent. Now, this prophet says God told him in a dream that President Museveni must be very careful and should stop fooling around because he doesn't know what he's going to cause for Uganda and Africa at large. Now, this guy emphasizes that President Museveni is going to cause war on this African continent and he further says that President Museveni's time to leave power has finally come and there is no need to bring in his son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, as the next president of Uganda. You know, I'm a prophet. I don't normally prophesy about a president and the rest. Me, I'm not from Uganda, but there's a vision I got. Uganda president want to cause a war in Africa. Uganda president... They must be very careful about that man. He must be very, very serious. Uganda president want to cause a war in Africa. That's what God told me. But he want to put his son. And when you put the son, put a big war in Africa. Okay. Any of who knows Uganda president, he must stop fooling himself. If you are leaving the seat, you must leave it. Go straight. Hmm. Uganda president, what is the name? I don't know his name. Uganda president, he want to cause a war in Africa. That's the of the Lord. He must not attempt to put his son. On the seat, this man will cause a war. Uganda president will cause a war. He must be very careful. Uganda president, don't ever try to put any of your son. God will kill you on the seat. So Uganda president, I'm warning you, I'm very young. Your end is coming. If it's time for you to leave, leave. You are causing war. A word from the prophet is enough. God richly bless you. Yeah, Uganda president, you need to take this advice and I hope it is going to help the entire Uganda and entire Africa. God richly bless you. A word to the wise is enough. God richly bless you. There's a war coming to Uganda. They need to be very careful. There is a war coming to Uganda. Hey, listen, you know we are on social media. Anyone who knows that man, he must be very careful. Okay. He wants to use his two hands to eat. So Uganda president, it's a warning again. Well, there you go. I hope President Museveni and his son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, will receive this information. However, I don't know how true this prophecy is, but that's the information coming in from Ghana, west part of Africa. Well, in other news, now, a section of Democratic Party leaders and members from Maki India have expressed their unhappiness toward the party president, Mr. Nobat Mao, saying that they are not happy with the continuous attacks Mr. Mao has directed to other opposition members. Now, these people also have a feeling that Nobat Mao is part of the NRM government and he's paid with his small group of people to attack fellow opposition members. And they say that they are not going to be part of that group that attack people on the same cause.
They have actually given him only two weeks to come out and clear the air about his relationship with the NRM government. Otherwise, if he's not willing to explain some of these questions, they want him to resign immediately. We are requesting our president to stop attacking other party, opposition party's leaders. Please, Mr. Mao and your team, I remember you said it is the one who am a team that are going to attack these opposition leaders. Please, we are not happy as marking the leaders or marking the members of the DP. We are not happy with it. We request, please, with immediate effects, stop attacking other opposition party leaders. It is taking us, it is not taking us anywhere. Unless you have some do with the government, you were sent to abuse the opposition party leaders, so that for you are going to be paid with your team. But as a marking India, we are not happy with that, and we are not going to, we are not going to, to be part of that team that we are taking to NRM in abusing other opposition party leaders. Fourthly, last but not least, uh, we had a function at Valin Tuma. We wondered how the DP president is uh, 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 actually. We don't know whether he's even armed because he's protected by the SFC. The driver is an SFC. The bodyguard is from SFC. The vehicle that was given you is it from the government. We wonder how an opposition party president can be guarded by the SFC. I've never seen it. Mr. Amri of FDC is not guarded by SFC. Robert Chagwa is not guarded by SFC. Uh, Akena is not guarded by SFC. We DP President Mao. Please, President, come out and tell us. We are giving you two weeks to come to come out and tell us what are you doing with the government. Please, if not, can you resign? Yes, so that's the news coming in from Nobat Mao's camp and I'll be keeping you posted on all the developments. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Bazuji just in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I did tell you that you got the buzz, you got everything, but also don't forget to share the link to your friends so that they can stay updated about what is happening in the country. Thank you.